Hello, welcome to the back lane somewhere near home. Um, I'm on an ill-advised adventure. So, if you've been keeping up with Lou, you'll know everything that's been wrong with him. Most recently, sorted the clutch out. And since then, I haven't really taken him anywhere. Ignore the smoke. That's just the oil from when the engine exploded, slowly burning off. Um, and I haven't taken him anywhere because I was supposed to be on holiday this week. Um, and last week, but we managed to get about three days into holiday before a family emergency meant rushing back again, so I loaded up my motorcycle, went all the way down to Cornwall, all the way down the north coast, um, and turned around a day and a half later and came back again, so I'm fresh off the back of uh, 700 miles on the Himalayan, so fancied a bit of a change. My other half's off dealing with the family emergency. I need to get a passport photo for something completely unrelated and so I figured what better thing to do than potentially strand myself nine and a bit miles away from home. Hence I'm on Lou. Uh, I'm on the back roads because there's no way that um, it's sensible to take this thing on the main road and I'm heading to Stratford-upon-Avon hopefully to get myself a passport picture. Done a couple of miles from home so far. The bike seems to be surviving. The back brake I think is covered in oil because well everything got covered in oil and so it's not working fantastically well so I'm going to ride that for a bit and see if it helps. We'll just see how this goes. I know the idea of the Grand Challenge bikes is to, you know, potentially do some serious miles on them, but given all of his previous issues and uh, propensity for stranding me, Yeah, what was I saying there? Possibly need to turn the idle on this bike up a little bit because when it heats up it does get a bit lethargic. I've come to the conclusion that none of these engines make the factory compression after they've been driven for more than about a thousand miles. Which explains why they're all so lazy. Um, the speed limit here is the top speed of this bike with my large arse on it. I can well imagine that the um, much more healthy lightweight Japanese person who probably went through homologation on this was capable of 60 mile an hour so I think that 10 mile an hour is entirely down to too many donuts someone did mention to me that um, actually it's nothing to do with that as the CDI unit goes a bit I don't know what the word would be really, a bit gets a bit ponderous after a while and actually if you can find one in better nick you gain a few mile an hour back when you're playing about with a bike of this age any of that and all of it could be true so Okay, I've successfully paid £10 for a hideous picture of myself. Also that I can enter a stupid code off of the hideous picture. It 
into a thing to get my passport. Don't even need the physical picture, which I'm pretty sure is... That's a one way, isn't it? Physical picture is how they justify charging so much for it, even though you don't need it. Oh, this bike is small. Gives me a leg ache when I get on it. We're off on an adventure. Not quite feeling arse faced enough to push my way to the front of the right turn. Although I might have done it once or twice in the past. Okay, so after a day of running errands, going to get my passport photo sorted out, did the paperwork, then I went and posted the passport and I've done a few other things, bits of shopping. Um, I thought I'd bring Lou to the top of the tallest, most difficult climb I know around here. And he made it up at, albeit only 30 mile an hour. Uh, kind of fair warning to anyone who wants to buy one of these bikes for whatever reason. They're dangerously slow for modern traffic. Like, I'm talking even slower than the worst Chinese 125 you could buy. But that's not the point. As you might be able to hear, Lou is still running, and the oil is still in him, and so far, apart from some worn-out engine noises, including the desperate need to set the tappets, or, well, set the valve clearances, they're not tappets, they're old school, so far, touch wood, everything is running as it should be, and Lou should be ready to do plenty of um, exciting and interesting miles, since he now has new everything that usually goes wrong with an engine, like cam chains, clutches, brakes, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to end this video there, um, and maybe we'll take him on a bit of an adventure over the next few days. Um, while I try to recoup some of the last of my time off, maybe we'll take him for a bit of green lane and really get him hot. Find out if he um, carries on his good spree or whether we'll be having a chat with the RAC. Have a great evening everyone, enjoy the view.